You guys asked for it. Class 234, just another Buds video. Let's go. In the first minutes of day one at Bud's training in Coronado, California, Class 234 is falling apart. Two minutes, you don't make it? Guess what happens? You do it again! Trying to obey impatient SEAL instructors, Class 234 is completely disoriented in the pre-dawn cold of late November. In the darkness, there isn't time for the instructors or the television cameras to learn 83 names. It won't matter. Bud's has a failure rate of over 70 percent. Of the 83... Invariably, someone screws up on the count. I don't care what military you're in. When they're disoriented, tired. The guy next to you says 78, you're 79, you forget... You don't pay attention, whatever. Students pictured here, only 16 will graduate six months from now. Wow, 16. Every student harbors an inner belief that he can become a Navy SEAL. But when seconds seem like hours, enduring the moment can challenge anyone's commitment. Oh, that was a saggy bat. You're on seven. <laughs> you started out with 10 and you've knocked out 20 so far because you're sad. You're weak. Here's eight. Nine. Eight. Ten. I tell you what. When you're told to do something, you do it right. If you're doing a set of push-ups, you do them right. You want to screw off, I'll catch you every time and you'll make, I'll make you pay. You will pay. And that... And that goes for when I turn my back and I walk away. Because yeah. that's when I look at you the most. Yeah. It's one you, know, you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. But in the beginning, if you're already having a hard time, you know, after you've been smoked a little bit, they've probably been running back and forth doing pushing. Now this guy's having a hard time knocking 10 out. Then they start picking on you, right? So I don't care if it's Buds or if it's Marine Corps Boot Camp. They'll try to pick out the weak ones, and some of the weak ones become the best guys. The way to get somebody fired up to get them moving is just give them extra pressure and say, you know what, every evolution I'm going to be watching you and paying attention and making sure that you're doing the same thing that all of your buddies are doing. Do it again! You guys get out of here! Making a guy realize that he has to, uh, he has to put out equally with his buddies basis of teamwork is being able to have a little bit of self-motivation be able to carry your own weight what number are you on Shady? you're on three i didn't say four don't you wish you were moving a little faster day one is a wake up it's welcome to buds to kind of get introduced to all the instructors intensity level as far as being right in their face for everything every minute every second they're out here is uh, definitely at a higher level. If you Shut your mouth, James! Uh, and don't give it to the pain! You just adjust for it! That's it! Minor adjustments! If you can't do it perfect, then you just change it a little bit! Don't give it to the pain and quit! This entire PT has been a joke. There hasn't been a single... Figure these guys come to this, even at this point, at a pre-training course, right, where they're supposed to meet a certain level of fitness... Clearly not everybody does because you got some guys that are dying. Now, maybe it's their endurance, maybe it's whatever, but some guys day one are falling apart. So you guys put in the comments, have they increased the bar on the pre-selection to keep the rolls from happening or the drops so quick? Or Invariably, people are just going to drop. I think that's the answer, but you can see already day one physically, they shouldn't be falling apart day one that you have performed during the course of this PT that has even remotely resembled perfection. You back up there. If they were prepared physically, right? Everything has been sad, weak, and unreadable. And it's all because you're inside your tiny little brains self-defeating yourself. Think I'm good looking? Oh, oh, go. 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 Should have done the first time, dumbass. What are you doing? Where are you going? After an hour, instructors show no sign of letting up. Their intention is for each student to question his reason for being here. Hey, 
What is wrong with you? The instructors realize nobody will drop out in the first hour. The quitting will begin as soon as the realization sets in that this is only the beginning. Thumbs up on that bar, do one pull up. Thumbs up on top. Yeah, you're looking for them to put out, that's all. Just, just give us everything you got and that's fine. And you can tell if, if they're not giving you everything they got, you can tell. You see that guy who's uh, he's not doing all his push-ups. Um, he's falling down on his knees, and then you tell him to bear crawl around, and all of a sudden he's got all this energy. Pull up, pull it up, get up there. This mom. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep going. He looks like a fit guy. Probably came there as fit as everybody else. But what breaks him compared to the guy next to him? They've only been there. They said an hour, so it's not like they've been spent for the last two weeks. Keep going. Look at all that extra strength you had. Class 234 is no different from any other BUDS class before it. For the most part, students range in age from 17 to 29 years old. Everyone is a volunteer. Get on the bar there, Butters. You should be all rested up by now. Maybe you can get one. Each student has his own reasons for being at BUDS. All right, there's one. I came here to BUDS to, to, uh, to be part of the, the best team around. I like to have my buddies that I can depend on, and I would like for them to be able to depend on me. Nothing's promised here. You can only try your best. If you want more 234, let me know in the comments. Hashtag part two. One of the toughest things out there. As dawn breaks over the exercise area, nicknamed the grinder, the instructors see each student clearly for the first time. Excuse me, Mr. Holly. Get it up! For those of you who haven't been to Coronado, Southern California, right, not far from Mexico, you'd think it'd be super warm. It does get chilly at night during the winter. But the water there is always probably, you know, 60-something to maybe the very low 70s. So that's what gets these guys. It's not cold outside right now. It's probably cool, but it's not like they're Virginia Beach. Get up there. What's up with these officers? Get up there! Shoemaker and Holly are officers who are drawing attention from instructors who demand that SEAL officers lead by example. That's what they need. That's what they're asking for. Hey, Just you this mile, Holly, go get, go get the surf zone. Well, he's you don't done. Want, you don't even want to put out. We got eight weeks to work with them, and you can scream and holler. Get up, Brown! I'm a horse already, and it's not going to work. It, you got to let the time take care of it. And usually the same names will show up. Hey, stud boy. Crider. Get up there. You better be a heck of a runner, Crider. Lousy this. Come on! <laughs> heard his name twice already. Nice work. <laughs> if the same names keep showing up and and all the instructor staff feel that uh, you know this guy's not going to cut it, then he's going to get a little extra pressure. It's been a whole minute since your name's been yelled out too, there, shoemaker. Up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three. Oh come on, shoemaker! Get on up there. Lock it out. Lock it out there, stud. You know, dips when you're that tired. One of those exercises, you don't want to start getting bad form because you will tweak your shoulder pretty quick. And they're an amazing exercise. So guys spend all this time at the gym bench pressing and all this business. Just do dips, pull-ups, sit-ups, run, swim. You're going to be in great shape. There's no complicated process here, but everybody's looking for that magic bullet for the BUDS training program. Lock it out. All the way down, all the way up. Five. Six. Six. Look, get out, stud boy. Get on up there. Who's that guy up front there? Hoff, Hoffman. Get up! Oh, boy. Get up there! You supposed to lead by example? Shoemaker. Oh, you remain there, Shoemaker. Get on up there, stud boy. Despite Shoemaker and Holly's obvious distress, Bud's is not about humiliation. Whatever you have to do, kick, scream, fight. I don't care if you have to chew on that thing. Get up there! Get up there! Wow. I don't think I've seen someone that spent. You're starting to realize the kind of effort you have to give here. Thing Figure the rest of the guys were doing it. He can't even lip push himself up to get his triceps fully extended. So I don't know if it's genetic endurance problem. He didn't train well enough. Maybe he was in the fleet Navy, came in fat, out of shape. Like I said earlier, you hope 
they set the bar so high where at a minimum the physical part doesn't have them dropping out. You know, this is like what, hour two or three. It's not cutting it for you right now. <laughs> Ouch. Leadership is essential to class unity. Gettys is the officer in charge for class 234. A three-year veteran from the fleet, he is the leader the class relies on for stability. Uh, OIC, officer in charge, I'm just responsible for um, the welfare of uh, the men out here. This is what I wanted to do for a long time. This is the best job there is in the Navy. Working with highly motivated individuals and people who want to be here. If you want to narrow it down, it has to be the best job there is. <laughs> Eight, uh, nine, seven, six, call. ten, Whoop. eleven. After breakfast, a class Whoa. muster reveals that one student is gone. Less than three hours into day one and two, three, four suffers its first drop-on request or D. You know, that guy, too, said, who just quit after three hours, hey, I'm getting ready for this. He trained. He told his buddies. No doubt in his mind he was going to make it. Three hours later, he's gone. I don't know what the break point is, nor does the Navy. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let him go. But that part of it's very interesting. The word spreads quickly, but there is no time for questions or reactions. Hey, hey what up, Butters? When Geddes learns that a student has dropped out, he has no time to worry about it. We're moving! With the different ages and maturity levels in the class, it's going to be a long day. And 234 must remain focused on the next evolution, the time four mile run. Hey, listen up, we got this run going on now. After the run, people will pass, probably stretch out. Those, of, those people who fail, probably get beat for a while. Booyah, And 60% of the people that fail this run today will not make it through Hell Week. Hell Week, five and a half days of misery. The instructors tell the students again that failure for most is a statistical destiny. Any student. Now it looks like they're still dry, but I can tell you in these further programs, they run in wet boots, utility bottoms, on that really sugary sand. It does make for a bitch of a run. I've done it before. I don't remember having a time run, I wasn't a SEAL. But, you know, that part of it I can appreciate because that kind of sand, you get into it and there's no spring in your step. So four-mile run has got to be under 32 minutes, I think. Let's keep watching. Who doesn't make it? Able to complete the four-mile run in 32 minutes or less before Hell Week begins, two weeks hence, will be performance dropped. Pretty good training. pace, eight-minute mi eight miles. For half the class, this is their first time at Buzz. For the rest, it is their second, third, and even fourth try. For Rivera, the class LPO, or leading petty officer, at 29 years of age, this will be his third and final try to graduate. Big dude there, man. I was actually in Buzz in 1995. I quit. Eventually, I just wasn't ready. I was in the last class, and I got rolled back in Hell Week. I feel out of everything that I've done in the Navy, this is what I want the most. I'm thinking I'm going to make it this time. Demeter, 32-48. Nobody passed today. All right. And they have some they have some fast runners that will pass or with no problem on a good beach. Go. And we know that. All right. But today, it's day one. Casey, 32-52. It's hello, this is Buds, and we're not here to mollycoddle anybody. Did I tell you to go drop down? What did I just tell you? You come in, you give me your name, you check in with your time, and then I'll tell you to go. You don't start making up your own rules around here, Casey. It is a thing people always screw up on. He tells you exactly. Tell me your name, your time, and I'll tell you when to go. You see that all the time in these military trainings where someone's trying to think ahead. You know, They gave him the name and the time, so he's like, I'm good to go. But that wasn't the instructions. 35, 53, surf zone, go get wet, run! We want these guys to dig down, give us everything they've got. The time isn't so important to us. The time isn't, isn't what it's about. What it's about is to see the guys are digging down and giving us everything they've got. And I mean, like this guy right here, he's out of shape. Now, he could be an iron marshmallow, but I doubt it. You know, you don't see many guys like that who look soft and can you know make the runs, make the swims. You just don't see many. 
Yeah, there's except, exceptions to the rule, but again, that's an exception. Showing us that they have the intestinal fortitude to punch through. Looks yeah. like the only thing out of this timed run that you're going to end up benefiting from is the fact that now you know what it means to be wet and sandy. If I ever tell you to get wet and sandy again, or any anybody in the instructor oh, staff sure, does, you get wet and sandy from head to toe. Just like you are now, you're completely covered. A lot of people don't understand what sandy is because they don't pay attention to detail. They don't discipline themselves to get fully sandy. You do know that now, right? You, do, you know it now because you failed the run and we got you sandy. So you still end up benefiting in one little way. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, Mountain climbers three, are always fun. Four. You're supposed to be the strong one, the people, one that people look up to. I wouldn't even want to be under your leadership in a real team in the unlikely event you make it. Because your weakness, you could get yourself and teammates killed in a real life situation. You better figure out if you want to be here or not. You got a long way to go. You got Geddes is singled out for being physically unprepared go, when he reported to training. I mean, you look at him, he looks unprepared, right? Geddes, I think he makes it. I've seen this years ago, but the bottom line is not everyone comes in. He's probably in the Fleet Navy. He was a junior lieutenant, probably eating the good chow, thinks he's ready to go. He squeaks by on the entrance test. Now he's paying. As the OIC, he is an obvious choice for close-up scrutiny from SEAL instructors. Although SEAL training is the same for both officers and enlisted men, Bud's instructors are experienced SEAL operators who hold their officers to a higher standard. The pressure is just always there for me. I mean, I'm always feeling some kind of pressure, especially as the OIC. I want you to take a look. You got your chest here, I got under your neck, I see your arm here. You got told to get sandy. Yeah. That means from head to toe. You're an officer as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Pay attention to detail. Right? Yeah. You gotta discipline yourself to do that. You gotta do that so the guys are gonna follow you. If you get given an order, it means do it properly the first time. Get sandy. Yeah. I guess the hardest thing to do is constantly stay motivated so you can complete every evolution and make sure you do it okay. and just keep going every day. In between your legs? Geddes will get continuous pressure right. until he proves he is fit to lead. It is a challenge that he must win or risk. I can tell you the bitch of that is when the sand gets down your trousers, gets stuck in between your legs, your crotch, and it starts chafing. So you got these wet utilities on. The chafing of the sand is no bueno. Not to mention it gets in your boots. Hopefully you got socks pulled up high enough. But there's nothing good about that much sand. You'll be bringing that home for days in control of class 234 and being dropped from training. You're an officer. Make sure that you're leading from the front. You're, you're setting the example, all right? Yeah. There's a lot of guys out here who are E1s and E2s that are going to follow your lead. Yeah. So I'm going to hold you to a higher standard. Get out of here. If you want more 234, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.